what do you gain out of that? What did you gain out of that conversation other than foolishness? What did you gain? Where did you go? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm so bemused by it because you're just wasting your time sitting there, degrading people, laughing about it as if it provides you with some kind of ego boost. This is, it takes me back to power and how he dealt with some of his castmates, making fun of them online. You know, Naturi was one of them. So 50 Cent is getting slammed everywhere, left, right and center, because he decides to drag black women and reference them as angry. Yeah, nobody asked for this. Like nobody, not one person was asking for this podcast interview, nobody. And I don't think people realize how psychologically damaging stuff like this can actually be. Hey guys, it's Parad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for hourly and consistent, daily and consistent content, 24-7, 365 days of the damn year. I'm giving you guys content. It is currently 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. in the morning right now. Now, if you guys are snoozing, you guys are losing. Um, but a lot is going on right now. I told you just too much is going on and I wanted to wait a while before I get into this topic because 50 Cent really is rubbing a lot of people the wrong way and rightly damn so. He has a podcast interview with Lil Wayne and they're talking about you know people that he likes or whatever and these exotic women and he's just the way he describes black women is just disgusting, it's degrading and it's derogatory but once again I would like to reiterate how psychologically damaging stuff like this is especially in the era of social media where all of this is accessible to the masses but before we get into the psychological damage Lil Wayne you have a daughter they were birthed by black mothers so the level of stupidity is endless when it comes to conversations like this because it doesn't make any sense because you're not only disrespecting other people but what you don't realize is by making these damaging comments and reiterating these negative stereotypes, especially this specific one for black women. You're not only disrespecting black women, but you're disrespecting yourself as a human being. You don't value yourself as a human being and you can't say that you do. Because if you seek validation from within yourself and not other people, then you wouldn't find a need to degrade others for no reason. You wouldn't find a need to cuss them out, to laugh about it, to joke about it in such a derogatory, meaningful way. You wouldn't find that need to do so because you have that validation and that value within yourself. But you don't. Your insecurities are coming out in what we call projection and you're projecting them onto other people as a coping mechanism by laughing away. And this is something that I believe Lil Wayne or 50 have been doing for a while because you can tell by the casual conversation that they're having and the lexicon that they are using, there's something that they probably do a lot of the time. It's psychologically damaging, it's psychologically degrading, it's psychologically derogatory to people seeing this, especially the demographics that are affected by this because they are now going to be feeling immediately devalued when it comes to stuff like this. Now there actually has been a lot of content specifically for black women that I've seen in the last month or so. For example, one woman was put in a bin and you know, your people, are, one woman was punched or whatever. Like I saw, I saw so much of this and a lot of people were saying, Murad, speak about it, speak about it, speak about it. And this is my confliction with this. Yes, I can speak about it constantly or something happens, but also I don't feel like it's healthy to say, look what's happening here. This is some trauma, guys, that you may be affected by. Let me throw it in your face. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's not every day. If something happens, yes, but I'd, I'd, it, yes, you can raise awareness. That's a pro to it. But the con to it is that we're also recycling trauma, recycling some kind of negative news, recycling abuse that we are seeing online that some people may have experienced. And it can be not only heavy for me reporting on it, but also heavy for the people that can be, that can be part of a demographic that they are seeing being pushed in bins, abused, kicked left, right, center. Do you know what I mean? It can be really heavy and a lot for people to digest psychologically, mental health, especially with everybody in their lockdown. It just can be a lot. So I try not to do it all the time, when it's specifically when it comes to content like this, because I feel like it just can be damaging for people. But back to this. Oh, wow. Hey, 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 you see a lot of sisters, oh, you fuck, you fuck with this kind of girl, that kind of girl. That shit is exotic. <laughs> that shit looks a lot different from the shit that 
you see in the neighborhood all the time. It looks like <laughs> that's it looks like you came off a boat, baby. <laughs> you know, like that motherfucker. <laughs> you know, like that. You know, goddamn, what's the matter with you? <laughs> you know, like something foreign, like something that you can't just get. <laughs> so in some kind of ways, it is interesting to explore. You know what I'm saying? But they get mad, they get angry. How did you there end up with this motherfucker on this guy? I'm like, huh? Like, for real. <clears throat> they get real. I just look at it like, oh, look at this angry. And then my instinct always makes me defensive. So I go, look at this angry black boy. Get the fuck out of here. Right. The whole vibe. You understand what I'm saying to you? <laughs> The thing with the issue with me is that these people are grown adults, grown men. Yes, you can be inflicted by a lot of stuff growing up, especially, you know, being a person of colour, being a black guy, you can you can be growing up to so much racial hatred towards you from so many different angles or manners. But at the same time, I don't see why they need to why people why people need to degrade black women. Like I don't see, like we're seeing this consistently at least once a week bare minimum online some viral video is going around and it's just it's not, it's just so damaging man not only, it's just so sad we have Regine Carter who's speaking up who said I'm black I'm beautiful I'm enough I'm exotic I'm amazing I'm one of I'm one of a mother kind now where's my black beautiful queens at we also have um, Cuban Link who apparently is dating um, 50 Cent or whatever and says, don't worry ladies, I already knocked him upside his big ass head. Happy birthday, my love. It's also his birthday as well. And this is the thing, even if he is joking, the fact that this is seen as casual joking really helps to kind of reinstate this white racial equilibrium kind of societal conditioning that we have all been inflicted by to such extremities and severities. It definitely is. And whether you're doing it by casual joking, it shows that you don't really have a consciousness when it comes to stuff like this. Because it's like, what about your mothers? Like, it, it, I'm, listen, two plus two is meant to equal four, but it's equaling something else here. The maths is not mathing. I'm genuinely confused by this. I'm trying to not get frustrated by it because I just feel like I don't want to keep ranting. I don't want to keep this video too long, but when is this type of stuff going to stop? That is the next question. When is it going to stop and what is it going to take for this type of stuff to stop? There needs to be that conversation. There needs to be some kind of awareness because it's seen that this just keeps on going on and it's funny to degrade a demographic of people. What do you gain out of that? What did you gain out of that conversation other than foolishness? What did you gain? Where did you go? You drive it out a dead end child. I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm so bemused by it because you're just wasting your time sitting there, degrading people, laughing about it as if it provides you with some kind of ego boost. This is, it takes me back to power and how he dealt with some of his castmates, making fun of them online. You know, Latouri was one of them consistently, 24-7. That's one of your colleagues. Let's that's, that's not forget that. We can relate and connect the dots. It doesn't need to happen. Whether you intentionally mean it or don't intentionally mean it, it's damaging as hell to people. There's just no empathy anymore in the world. And that's what I genuinely feel like, guys. I genuinely feel like there's just no more empathy for people. People don't want to feel for others or really understand how your comments make somebody feel and the fact that you're recording this, editing this, and then putting this out, it's as if you've done this even on purpose to gain some kind of traction or attention or bring some views or listens to the podcast. It's just washed out, it's unnecessary, grown men acting like clowns for free. Listen, we all need to do better than this. Every single one of us needs to do better than this. We stand better together, stronger as individuals, being empathetic to other people, listening to other people, understanding each other, you know, talking about people feel, but we have stuff like this where you're just degrading black women for banter. I don't, un listen, maybe one day someone will let me know. So far, nobody has, but I don't understand what you think as a person, as an individual can get out of doing stuff like this. It does nothing for you. It's a waste of your time. You're only disrespecting yourself and telling yourself that you don't value yourself. Simple as that. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. Subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.